Hi everybody and welcome. We are going to go ahead and get started with the zone cleaning. We are restarting the zone cleaning schedule with zone one. It is the new quarter so it is time to start over in my house and that area that we are starting over in is in the kitchen. There are a couple spots that I wanted to specifically touch upon in the kitchen that I kind of had just gone, kind of glossed over or they were left on like pause in the last time that I did the kitchen cleaning. So one was the stove vent where it just felt like there was more grease up on the vent hood. So I bought some degreaser so that way I could use it on there. And I also wanted to tackle cleaning the hard water deposits, calcium deposits, it's one of the two of them that are at the bottom of the dishwasher. I do not think that we've actually ever really did a thorough deep clean of the dishwasher. I kind of like cleaned around the front of it or where and the the front the lid area, but I didn't really tackle down at the bottom with the burner and everything. And so I did that this time and it was it was enough to, enough of work I had it needed 24 hours to soak in vinegar so that way I could actually clean off most of the deposits. But that's where we're going to start off is starting off with the dishwasher cleaning. So I hope everybody finds great motivation in this cleaning video and I will check back in later on here shortly. dishwasher. I earlier today because the dishwasher was empty and I didn't really have any other dishes in the sink uh, until I ate lunch of course. Uh, I went ahead and ran the sanitize cycle on this dishwasher with one of these pods in there and it is like a dishwashing tablet type thing and it has gone through the whole process of sanitizing, doing everything that it needs to do. However, I don't think my mom ever did a thorough deep clean of this dishwasher. And there is hard water stain that's older piping. I don't have a water softener or any of that in this house. So it is, there's lots of hard water stains on this. So I am going to remove the bottom rack put it off to the side, and then I am gonna get down in here and use the Scrub Daddy Power Paste and see if it will help loosen up anything. I'm trying to use more natural stuff and not go in and attack this with CLR. Uh, I've tried vinegar in the past and it did a little bit of work, but not enough. Let's go ahead and get started and see what I can do, what I can remove with this.
I am going to go ahead and let the power paste sit on here for five, ten minutes, something like that, uh, because it did do some that I can, oh, did do a little bit, I but I'm going to let it sit on like the really hard on water stains that are around the, the heating element area, the drain, all of that type of stuff, because that is really like caked on. And as far as I know, I don't think I can remove this. I don't think I can remove, I don't think I can remove the, the blade thing. Yeah, when I read the instructions on this, it didn't say anything about it having a filter or being able to remove that that thing by the heating element. So I have no idea if I can remove it. I don't think I can. So we're going to move on to something else that is in here, but this is just the first part. I got off of work at four o'clock on Friday and I, because the dishwasher was empty and before I would put anything in there, I wanted to tackle this. But another thing that happened months ago, months, months, months ago, I found the cats chewing on or playing with the screw. And I'm like, where did that screw come from? And it's like, I knew it came from the dishwasher, but I didn't know where it came from the dishwasher. And just recently, I realized that this was starting to move in here, and the clip that attaches to the underside of this has um, the screw is missing from the clip. So I've kept the screw, thankfully. Uh, the problem that I see is the hole might be stripped out to where I can't put the screw back. But I'm going to attempt it and we'll see how that goes. Try to get more, get this more stabilized again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and there are some spots along the side here that are hard water stains. And this is probably for me when I'm cleaning the dishes. Um, that's probably what this is all from. So I'm using my little brush. Okay. And now I continue to let it sit. It has only been four minutes. And I don't think it's time. I don't think it's time yet because nothing seems to be the next option would be to get paper towels of vinegar wrap it around there I think I just used vinegar and baking soda the last time and just kind of like poured the baking soda on and then poured the the vinegar on top and let it do its thing but I think this time I need to let the vinegar rags actually sit and soak on some of these areas and soak for, you know, at least an hour or more because they are very hard, hard, hard water calcium type deposits. So, um, but yes, I'm going to try to make this thing look almost brand new by the end of this cleaning video. <laughs> I'm gonna try.
So the next thing I need to do, it does look a lot better with the hard water. However, there's still lots of deposits left. So I'm taking some microfiber cloths, trusty old vinegar. I'm gonna soak up the, soak the rags in uh, vinegar. Words are escaping me right now. And then I'm gonna put the rags around where I see the deposits and hopefully that will help clear up a lot of it. So let's try this and see what it looks like. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like in there. It is the, it is the dishwasher, so the lighting is not the best, but you'll be able to see right around the black ring that's in here, the deposits. Only one, only one, only one. Only one, only one, only one. Patience. I'm running, running, running out of patience. There's gotta be somebody who can save me. Gotta be someone who feels the same. Uh -huh. Cause I've been all by myself. Got nobody else to help ease my mind. I feel so lonely. And I have some more deposits that are right here along the door. So I'm taking my cleaning rag that's already wet and going to soak that in vinegar as well. And I am being very generous with the vinegar. So I'm basically pouring it on the door, trying to soak it up with the rag. And then once all of this is done and I get as much of the deposits off as possible, I will be doing a quick rinse cycle with nothing. I might throw a cup of vinegar in there, but like I might pour the rest of the vinegar into a measuring cup, put it on the top rack, and then let it do its thing as a cleaning cycle. And then we'll see what it looks like after that. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut this, let it sit for an hour and see if that vinegar does anything with the deposits. And I'll be back. Okay, I have actually let the vinegar soaked rags sit all night, pretty much 12 hours. And I am now going to attempt with my Rubbermaid power scrubber, which is a just more powerful electric toothbrush. I am going to try to see if it has loosened up anything in here, and I'm hoping it has. Hoping at least a little bit more has loosened up. what we can unearth from all of this. 
if any more. After this, I'm just going to give it up for now and we'll work on it again. And we'll work on it again at a later date, another month, another quarter cleaning. So let's try. It did clear up a lot of the calcium deposits finally, almost 24 hours later. I left the oven on um, <laughs> after I made lunch. Uh, but almost 24 hours later, it did actually pull up a lot of the calcium deposits. I am going to throw in some vinegar on the top rack and um, do a quick rinse with that, a quick cycle. And then we will come back and take a look at this. I'm back from the hardware store, the bank, actually it was the bank, the hardware store, and then I went to the grocery store. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because I've been at home for the past two years and this introvert likes to be inside. But every time I come back from being out shopping for, you know, one, two hours, I wasn't that gone that long actually. I, all I want to do is sleep. It's, you know, it's like I, I peopled, <laughs> I peopled and I don't want to people anymore. Uh, so I ate lunch, took a nap. It's now four o'clock. The cats have been fed. It's their dinner time. And I have tackled the dishwasher. I, in the previous clip, you'll see that, that I tackled the dishwasher and I did the rinse cycle in there with the vinegar and now it is ready for me to go ahead and put dishes in there but the kitchen kind of is like I don't want to tackle it right now because it is the one that I have to deep clean so I just don't want to tackle it right now so I'm going to start on some of the easier rooms but it's difficult because there really aren't that many easy rooms except for maybe this one uh the dining room because every room has stuff in it and it actually is driving me crazy and it's not that there's you know a lot of things out of place it's just i, I don't i don't actually there is stuff out of place there's office has a bunch of throw up stains between two of the cats they decided to throw up all over the place there's also poop stains on the carpet from the cats. Found that this morning. So, but we're gonna try to tackle it all today and get it done because I have to do yard work tomorrow. It is spring and we are moving into in Houston where I have to go out and mow the yard every single week for from now until November, beginning of December. So I have to tackle that. So I am starting a new, like, I have to figure out a schedule for myself for doing the, the cleaning all in one day on Saturday and then working on yard work tomorrow. Um, I'm just not there because we have to start it all over again. And then added on top of that, later this month, I do have to start going into the office every other day so two uh, two times a week I have to start going into the office and that's gonna throw some kinks into my schedule <sighs> so just letting you know that the next couple weeks month month and a half two months maybe I'm just I'm gonna have to figure out my schedule uh, but I do want to continue putting the clean with me videos up on Mondays uh, but as you've noticed the past couple weeks that I haven't posted a Friday video that is just because really I haven't had anything to post or the stuff that I had to post I just hadn't completely edited.
to get it ready and then it's like once I got to that point I'm like I don't know if I want to post this so my posting schedule's a little off as I'm figuring out this whole uh, summer is here because it is summer out there it is hot and having to mow the yard every Sunday that's I that's what I prefer I prefer Sunday morning mowing the yard and then uh, I'm trying to do the cleaning of the whole house including the deep clean of the zone on Saturdays and then when I have to throw in driving into the office which is I look round trip for me when I have to go into the office is about 50 miles so that is at least an hour and a half to two hours that I am in my car that I haven't had to do for the past two years which I'm thankful for very thankful for but schedule is I'm trying to figure it out again so Let's go ahead and get started with cleaning the dining room. Maybe if I can get this cleaned, we will move on into the front room and everything and just start moving through the house and then we'll get back to the kitchen last, get it clean, and then of course I'll dirty it up when I go to make dinner. Although I might have ramen for dinner tonight because I just don't feel like cooking. But yeah, that it's I'm, I'm just... I don't I, the, no the introvert going I, the past two years have been very great for me <laughs> for introverts it's been very great and now we have to be social again and it's difficult so anyways let's get to cleaning I'm gonna put on some of my of course everything almost every single time that I'm doing a clean with me video I'm listening to my Korean music and I am, that's, it's just stuff that I can clean to and makes me feel a little bit better. So I'm going to put that on and get to cleaning, start here and then move throughout the rest of the house and we'll get this done as quickly as possible. But it is four o'clock at the very end. I will tell you what time it is. So that way, you know, kind of how long it takes me to clean throughout the whole house and but also take into effect or account that I am also filming. So I have to move the tripod around. I have to, you know, sometimes switch out batteries when they die. So, but let's go ahead and get started because I keep rambling and I'm sorry about that. But real life. Here in the front room, you will notice that one of the bookcases is missing. That is because I moved it into my office. Once I do the refresh of the front room, I will only have two bookcases in here. So I wanted to go ahead and tackle decluttering the books that were here out of the three bookcases. And I ended up decluttering a box full of books and it took four rounds of decluttering uh, before I finally had enough books to where I had what I had here on the bookcase and that's what I plan on keeping for the time being and we'll see how things go but I want to keep the top couple shelves open for any other de decorations, the tchotchkes, whatever you want to call them uh, but keep the bottom I think four shelves for books it's very full still, but it's we're working on it. But I am looking forward to actually doing the uh, front room refresh, and I am hoping that you guys will join me. I will be filming as I do that, but there's cracks in the walls that need to be patched. I need to paint the ceiling, paint the walls. I'm gonna clean the carpet, and then I'm going to refresh some of the the furniture as well as and move some of the furniture around and I am hoping that you will join me and I am looking forward to that here in the next couple weeks to share that with you guys. Make you 
And we interrupt this cleaning with the delivery. I ordered from the online Asian store and it just got delivered. <laughs> so some of this has to be put away. Uh, don't mind the dirty kitchen. Like I said, it's bad. The last couple times that I've used my handheld, my Dyson that you see here that I'm filming with today, I actually noticed that it was sounding a little high-pitched whining sound coming out of it. So I was like, okay, maybe the filter, it's time to, time to clean the filter. And sure enough, when I pulled it off earlier this week, it was pretty bad. So I rinsed out the filter and I let it sit outside to dry. Thankfully, it was a dry day outside, so it was able to dry within 24 hours. But normally, it takes about 48 hours just because of the humidity here. But it was able to dry out and I was able to use it for this cleaning. And in the bedroom, I only made my bed. I am not actually like making the bed because I actually will wash the sheets on Sunday. And actually, as of this voiceover, they are the sheets are in the washer. I need to switch them over to the dryer. And I will do that later after I'm done with the voiceover. But I want to, you know, baby steps. We'll get, we'll get this stuff done. But I do wash my sheets on Sundays, and since I'm filming this on a Saturday, I just, I didn't want to pull the sheets off anyways. So that's what we're doing, and the rest of this is pretty much just quickly going through, doing a quick wipe down of everything, vacuuming the floors, and then we'll move back into the kitchen and do a little bit more deep cleaning in there. I know the vast majority of this video is just me and the dishwasher, but I wanted to just kind of show you the actual steps that went through, the thought process that was going through my head during the whole time that I was cleaning the dishwasher, and just show you that, uh, you know, the first thing that you use is not the, not the only thing that can be done, and it is a process, and it does take some time. The entire dishwasher, it did take me a full day, 24 hours, basically. So I started at four o'clock on a Friday and it 
I started back at it around three o'clock on Saturday and that was just I needed the vinegar to sit there and actually soak and do what it needed to do to break up all of that deposit stuff and it did actually do it so going forward each month quarter every you know it shouldn't be that difficult to actually clean the dishwasher but you know the first time is always the worst it always takes the longest time but that just think about that it's it's always worse the first few times that you do it and you don't have to make it perfect the first go around you can leave stuff there I ended up leaving just a little bit of calcium deposit around the ru rubber part of the the bottom part and I'll next quarter when it's time to clean the kitchen I will yet again put some more vinegar down there I might use cleaning vinegar the next time around but I just want to make sure that I was at least got it almost looking clean and it did look almost clean I once I empty out the dishwasher because I've already loaded it with dishes but once I empty out the dishwasher I will take a picture of it and share it in my next week's clean with me video I just didn't even think about taking a picture I wanted to get the dishes in the dishwasher because I was tired of them being in my sink so that's where we're at with this week but we're gonna go ahead and continue on and you see me in here I'll be cleaning a lot of throw up stains because like I said earlier two of my cats have been throwing up a lot lately and we have one of them has had a, a not pretty poop <laughs> basically and that was it was all over the wall so I had to clean the wall you know this is the stuff that you deal with with pets and I'm being real with you guys my walls like that were covered with poop and litter basically and so I'm just sharing it with you guys it's kind of disgusting but it, it's real life it happens even to animals it happens so uh, that's I'm sharing it with you guys but I'm also sharing with you the throw up stains because it is real life in my life as well with dealing with four cats. But we're gonna go ahead and after this, move into the office once I'm done cleaning up another throw up spot. back in the kitchen and I'm gonna go ahead and put away the stuff that I bought from the hardware store and from the grocery store earlier today but I was also trying to figure out where to start and I decided that the pantry was probably the best place to start because as you could see I couldn't even walk in the pantry it was just a horrible mess it had was trash day Saturday morning so I had taken the trash out but forgot to put a trash bag in the trash 
can. So things just started collecting all over the floor. There were recycling boxes The you know, the just stuff was everywhere. And I needed to kind of get this pantry back to being somewhat organized. So as you see, I'm putting in my ramen and the porridge and trying to get them all like un decanted in a way and put them into the little baskets. For me, the basket organization in my pantry works the best. I, they're kind of like little drawers and they kind of keep everything contained, but I can still see everything. And I also do the file uh, method of putting them in this stuff. So it's like I just pull from the front and, or I can pull out the little basket and then look and see what box I want or stuff like that. I need to reorganize the fridge at some point, but that will be at a later date. It's just, I'm throwing stuff in there and not I'm not even gonna go in there and clean at this time. It's I really should, cause it's the quarter, but I am, I'll do it at a later date <laughs> just because I just did not want to deal with it this time. I, like I said, I wanted to focus on the dishwasher and the stove hood, and we will get to the stove hood here shortly. But I wanted to get dishes into the dishwasher because that just, it was visual clutter for me and I just wanted to get all the visual clutter gone and away so that way I could focus on the actual cleaning part of the kitchen. So you'll see as I slowly start putting all of <laughs> you can see I'm still like overwhelmed with what is that? It's, it's visual clutter and it was just overwhelming in the kitchen for some reason. I, and it's still just watching this. It's, it's causing me stress and anxiety just seeing it. But it is so much better now with all of this stuff being put away. Um, I had the big coffee pot pulled out because my mom had been here for a day. And I actually now store that big coffee pot because I use my either French press or I have uh, like a coffee drink powdered instant coffee type stuff so all I need is the tea kettle for both of those but in that corner cabinet where there are no drawers it's tall enough to where I can actually put that coffee pot upright underneath there it's just a pain because I have to tilt it on its side to get it into the cabinet and then I have to tilt it to get it up to be upright but here I am I ordered these what are they? They're tempered glass cutting boards and I am changing out the placemats that have been holding the cat's food. I wanted to go ahead and do glass because one, it's less visual clutter because they're clear, you can't see through them. So you'll see the carpet or the floor. And also these can actually go in the dishwasher and get cleaned whereas the placemats were wood and also had cork on the bottom, bottom of them. So I really could only wipe them down with an all-purpose cleaner and you'll see me do that later here but I, I there was no real way for me to actually wash them except for doing that type of stuff and I I wanted I, I'm, I'm trying to make my life a little bit easier <laughs> you know it's I, I want things to be a little bit easier now but I am showing you the degreaser I got the method degreaser and I'm spraying it onto the hood and I will also take it over to the pantry door because there were some like hand marks. It's hard to tell because of all the wood, but you, I could definitely tell like it was getting sticky over on the door by the door handle. So it's definitely when I'm cooking and I go to open up the door. So I was going to go ahead and hit the door with the degreaser and I will also use the degreaser on the stove. You just can't see that I'm using it on the stove at some point but it needed to have some there was oil spattered everywhere and I actually had an overspill on something that I was cooking and it actually went underneath the stove part so you'll see me spray into the hole and uh, probably we'll be doing that here shortly but it's right there I sprayed all-purpose cleaner into the hole and that was to wet the the stuff that was down underneath to get it a little bit wet and so I can easily clean it up when I pull up the top of the stove but yeah so the the kitchen got a deeper clean you know which was what I wanted it to do but it's there are some spots that I just left I didn't do the oven I didn't clean out the refrigerator I didn't clean the top of the refrigerator I didn't wipe down the cabinets it doesn't have to be done all the time I'm just it doesn't have to be done all the time 
it's the kitchen is a big room when you think about all the little things that have to be cleaned inside the kitchen and you just can't get to it every single time it's time to do the zone but it does make it a lot easier with me breaking it down into these zones where I hit it once every quarter and it makes cleaning a whole lot easier so we're gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up here in the kitchen and the video is almost over so thank you everybody for watching and I hope that you are enjoying your week and I'll have a little note here at the very end once we're done with the kitchen And it just happened that the battery memory card in the camera was full and it was time I was pretty much done with cleaning so I placed the mats around the house for the cat bowls and that was where I pretty much have ended I am gonna throw all my rags into the laundry room I'm not necessarily gonna wash them yet because I still have a lot more unused cleaning rags that I can use so uh, but that was pretty much it I am going to go ahead and relax. It is now 722 and yes, so I am gonna relax for the rest of the night and tomorrow I will be mowing the yard. I'm not gonna take you along with me because it's mowing the yard and 
this video is probably already going to be long enough as it is, but I am mowing the yard tomorrow and doing some outside stuff that needs to be done, including putting out that topsoil. I am trying to get some holes from when we have the house leveled, the foundation leveled, that I need to fill in some holes from where they dug up and, you know, water and rain and everything. We've, it's, it, you know, I need to fill back, fill up the stuff with topsoil just to fill up the hole basically that was left and I'll probably have to do that some more throughout the year and you know going forward but that's okay because topsoil really wasn't that expensive and yes so that's my plan for tomorrow and then after I do yard work I'll come in and I'll start editing this video and I still need to do my homework for my Korean class but you know that's a whole nother story I I don't know if I'm gonna be on vacation this week I asked for it to be off for this week and I don't know. <laughs> so I will check back in with you guys at some point with another video. If you are not subscribed already, please hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I post a video. And I post my cleaning videos every single Monday and then I will throw a random video in here on Fridays at some point. And like I say, when I when it's random, it's random. It can be anywhere from budgets to home repairs, home decor, a life update, whatever I plan, whatever I want to do. It's a, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> you know, everything's a lifestyle right now. But I hope everybody will join me on the next video. Thank you everybody for watching and have a wonderful week. Say you don't Just give me something so I can move on